So I got a call from a customer who has a voltage display device attached to a cigarette lighter, and he noticed that the voltage was dropping into the 12 volt to high 11 volt range. So we decided to replace the alternator brushes and see if that fixes the problem. I gotta remove this 12 millimeter bolt right down here. So now we remove these eight millimeter nuts on the back side of the alternator. We gotta remove this ten millimeter guy. Yeah. And there's the alternator brush. So we'll use a Phillips head screwdriver to pull it out. That's not, that's a lot of wear. So there's two of them, one here and one here. This one looks really worn out. The rears look more worn out than the fronts. Okay, so we'll put on new brushes and see what that does. Here's the new one and here's the old one. <clears throat> and you can see the amount of wear on the old brush compared to the new, new brush. And also, the new brush probably has better spring tension than the old brush. So we want to uh, take the brush contact surface and clean it up a little bit. So I use this metal polish compound. And just basically just clean it up. plastic q-tip and I'm going to compress the brush okay I got one in I have to recompress this top one and there we go Okay, we're ready to go back in the car. Okay. It's a pre-existing belt, so you don't want to over torque because it's not going to stretch at all. It's already been pre-stretched.
off and see what happens. So it's now putting out a steady 14 volts. It's not dropping down in the 12 volt range. It's maintaining 14. So I'm going to turn on the AC, which will draw some current. Uh, put on the high beam headlights, and uh, the voltage may drop a little bit, but let's see if it recovers back to 14. So anything above 13.8 is great. Before we were in the low 13, high 12, so replacing those alternator brushes uh, fix the sporadic voltage output.